Hey, welcome. How y'all doing today? What we're going to do today is go and exploit this site with XQL injection. So what we have is a, a Synetix and it's a vulnerable site. What we can do first is start out by going to, um, let's see, let's go ahead and go and open up a Google. What we want to do is paste the website in. Um, and then what we want to do in order to find subdomains um, is go site. And on the other end, we want to erase that slash. And what we want to go is PHP. We're going to go space first PHP. We're going to go question mark. We're going to go ID. And we're going to go equals. And what this will do when I hit enter is going to pull up um, some of the subdomains from this website. And this is what you want to really find. You want to find the links. So we have links, okay? We have links within, uh, you know, we have links. So we'll click on this. That'll take us to right where we're at. Okay, so that link took us here to artists. You can see up top, we need to find, we need to click on that link. We click on this and it gives us a box. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff to click on over here. Sign up your profile, so many other things, but we can click on this and see this what this gives us. Okay, this gives us what we need. Okay, this gives us what we need. Now let's test and see if it's exploitable, if it's um, vulnerable. So when we hit that and it gives us this warning, this error, this lets us know that this website is vulnerable. So what we have to do first is find out how many columns we're dealing with. So let's go to um, order by method. Order by, we'll go order by two. And we'll see what happens. Okay. So we got a change. So let's see. Let's go order by three. Order by three. There's no change. Let's go order by one. There's no change. Let's go order by four. Boom, another error. There's a change. So that lets us know we have exactly three columns to work with. So let's get to work. Uh, so what we have to do now is do uh, union select. Okay, we'll go union select one, comma two, and then three will be our uh, will be giving uh, instructions. So let's go. Let's go. Union. Go union select. And then we'll go one. But first we're gonna go to space. I'm sorry, one, comma, two, comma. Then we'll go group. Concat. And we'll go um table. Because what we want to do is get the table name what we want to do is put on that and where we want to get it from that's what we want to communicate next from information underscore schema dot tables with an s on the end where table underscore schema is equal to database okay sorry equal database and what we want to do is hit them up with closing it up and then putting two dashes on the end now let's see if we if, if something happens oh nope it didn't give us what we needed so let's see where I Make sure all the everything's spelled correctly. We do want to get information from from the uh, tables where table equals a schema. Um, table schemas is equal to database. Let's go back to the front. Oh, I see what it is. This is kind of tricky. Anytime you don't get anything, what you want to do is go back to the front. And this one, you want to either I call it freaking it, where you can freak it with a with the apostrophe. Let's see if this gives us. Nope. Okay, let's go back. 
Because what we're not looking Okay, let's back it up. Let's put a dash in the front. Let's see if this gives us what we need. Okay, boom. The dash did it. So either a comma or a dash or both is going to do it. So right here, either you can do a comma or a dash or both. That's what usually does it. Um, so you can put, well, they call it a tick. Either you can put a tick apostrophe or tick or dash and it gives us what we want so what we have now we're looking at is a list and this is artists carts uh, caddy g featured guest book we have pictures and we have products and users so what we want to go do because now we have user we have something that we can look at now now we're going to pull from the user okay so what we want to go, what we want to do now is look and see where we need to change. Okay, where this is table, where it says tables at, we want to go back. We want to put column. Where this says tables, we want to go back and put columns. Cuz now we're looking at columns, okay? And now we want to erase this. Um what we want to do is put users okay let's see what we get uh oh spelled something wrong let's go back want to make sure want to make sure so we got you oh I know what I did wrong we, we now we're looking for the name so we want to make sure it's not schemas anymore it's the table name user so let's go back and read this okay Union select one, two. This is the formula group underscore concat is giving it instructions to the column three. The group concat um, column name from information underscore schema columns where table name is equal to users. So the table name is equal to users. Let me press enter see what we get enter okay let me go back let's go back people that's why we're working on this I want to make sure we have it let's go back where did I mess up okay columns where table underscore name we got that part so I have table underscore name so let's go to column and cat. I'm just backing up, making sure that everything is set. So we're name user. All right, I found it. This is what we're looking at. Okay, so once we get it at to this point, what we need to do is put users at the end with the Double dash is okay, and the table name is what you want to go after. So let's press enter, see what it gives us. Can we hit enter? Okay, it gives us our our passes. Okay, so what we can do now is go all the way back. We have our password and our U name. So what we want to do is where it says concatenate, then it goes into column underscore name. What we want to do is go back and put U name, U name. Okay, we have U name there. Then what we want to do is go all the way back here. We want to erase all the way up to from. Because now we know where we want to pull the information from. So we want to pull the information from users. Dash dash. Okay. Let's do it again. What we've done is found a password. The first username is test. Okay. Now let's go into where it says you name and put pass. And what we're going to do is press enter. And so what we found is that the username and password are the same. Username and password are the same. What we did was we broke it all the way down from start to finish where we had to go and find out how many columns there were. Then the tables within the columns and then 
then the tables we had to find the pull the data out of it um, extract the data from it concat it and now what we have is two passwords let's see if they work let's go to sign up we're going to click in okay for username i'm going to put test tab for password i'm going to put test now here's the moment of truth i press enter log in and there we have it i have a name i have a credit card slot i have a database so this is what we want to get after thank you guys for tuning in this is C Quell Injection. Thank you.